Okay, guys, so I've got some shocking Roblox news. Like, what I'm going to talk about in this video will change Roblox forever, and I'm not exaggerating. This is actually one of the biggest things to ever happen to Roblox. Let me just show you. So, the Roblox game Welcome to Bloxburg was acquired by a company known as Embracer. They own games like Tomb Raider and also Borderlands. Now, allegedly, it was acquired for upwards of 100 million. That's a million, 100 million plus dollars. However, the actual amount isn't yet public. For reference, Bloxburg made $37 million in 2021 and 2022. Now, let me explain to you what I just read. I'm sure you guys play or at least have heard of the Roblox game Bloxburg. This guy right here is actually the developer of it, Coeptus. He's the creator of Welcome to Bloxburg. And we just sold the game to this company known as Embracer Group for 100 million plus dollars. Now, you probably have a bunch of questions. I'm going to answer all of them. Like, first off, who in the world is Embracer Group? So this is their Twitter account right here. And if we scroll down, we can see some pretty interesting tweets. Like they're tweeting about Tomb Raider and Amazon games. They're tweeting about games like Valheim. And well, if you go ahead and Google them, you're going to see some interesting stuff. Over here on the right, it says that Embracer Group AB is a Swedish video game and media holding company. Now, essentially what that means is they're not actually a video game development studio. They are a company that owns video game development studios. Now, if we actually scroll down a little bit here, we'll see the word subsidiaries, which basically just lists the game studios that this company owns. And if we click on that, we can see there's actually quite a bit. THQ Nordic, Crystal Dynamics, Square Enix, Gearbox Software, Eidos Montreal. Now, if you're a gamer, you're probably going to recognize some of these. Crystal Dynamics here, one of the studios they own. Well, yeah, they actually make the Tomb Raider games. Pretty popular, really fun games. Gearbox Software. Yeah, they make the Borderlands games. They're really popular. In fact, it's even being turned into a movie. Eidos Montreal, they actually make the Deus Ex games, some more really popular games. So why in the world is the Embracer Group, a company that owns a bunch of big game studios that make really big popular games, why are they buying a Roblox game for $100 million? Well, the answer is actually quite simple, but I'll break it down for you. So this right here is actually the United States Patent and Trademark Office website. You can actually see official trademarks here we can see here it is right here welcome to Bloxburg was officially trademarked in fact we can see a date right here December 5th 2022 and we can see that the trademark is listed for computer game software of course Bloxburg is a computer game now what's interesting here is if we scroll down to the current owner information section we can actually see that the current owner name is actually coffee stain GBGAB now this is just legal business letters this is the important part coffee stain because if you go to the Embracer Group's Twitter account and you scroll down here, you're actually going to find a little booth they had at a gaming convention. You can see here's a bunch of the game studios here. Here's Gearbox. And look at that coffee stain. And well, if you go back to the list of game studios that the Embracer Group owns, well, we can actually see right here Coffee Stain Studios. And here they are right here. These are the official new developers of Welcome to Bloxburg. This is their website. And you might notice a few interesting games on here. These are the guys that made Goat Simulator. They also made Valheim, which is a really popular indie game on Steam, as well as the first Goat Simulator game. In fact, if you look up most of their games, we can actually see 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5 stars. Goat Simulator, 9 out of 10, 4.5 stars. Goat Simulator 3, if we go over here, 8 out of 10, 97% of people like this game. So these people seem to be pretty good at making video games. Now what's even more interesting is if you go to the job section over here, we can actually see that there's two listings available here. We have the community manager position and the senior programmer. And if we click on the senior programmer, it's going to take us to this page and this is where things get interesting. Coffee Stain is looking for new colleagues to help help build our brand new Gothenburg office from the ground up. Basically, they're creating a brand new office just for this position. It says the team will be developing a game on the Roblox platform. We're talking about Bloxburg here. The game has already seen some years of development by just a few developers and has a comfortable degree of commercial success. However, now is the time when we will start expanding the team and adding features and getting the game to a level of quality that the developers so far have only been able to wish for. Like most Roblox games,
games, this game is built around social interactions and role playing between players, to which it adds elements of home building and modern life simulation. An essential part of the gameplay is the possibility to build complex and inspired homes. Now, to maintain and increase the game's popularity, we will expand and refine the backdrops and props that serve the role playing and life simulation. This means we'll be creating furniture, house building parts, vehicles, picnic areas, and even little towns. Furthermore, the creation of fun and engaging mini games, along with the refinement of the core elements of the game, such as real life job simulation and the house editor. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you pretty much get the idea here. So essentially what has happened is Embracer Group, who owns all these other big game studios, well, they bought Welcome to Bloxburg for $100 million, and they are giving it to one of their smaller game studios, the people who made Goat Simulator in Valheim. That team of developers will be working on the game. So what does this mean for Bloxburg? What does this mean for the current developer, Coeptis? What's going to be going on? Well, judging from this job application here, it seems that Coeptis will be out, which makes sense. He did sell the game for $100 million, which means pretty much gone. He's not going to have anything to do with Bloxburg in the future. It's literally not going to be his game anymore. Now, as for Bloxburg, I can imagine the game will probably be going free to play. As weird as it sounds, free to play games pretty much make way more money than paid games. Just look at any Battle Royale game, Apex Legends, Fortnite, Warzone. There is a reason all those games are free, and it's because a lot of players spend a lot of money buying all the skins, the emotes, the microtransactions, the customization options. So I imagine that's probably what's going to happen to Bloxburg. The game's going to get a lot more microtransactions, a lot more customization options that you can buy. And in return, the game goes free to play for everyone to play. Okay, so I'm in the middle of recording this video and I actually just got new information here. Evan Bear one tweeted and said, wow, I completely overlooked the last sentence in the screenshot. They actually paid $129 million. This right here is the actual price, seemingly, that the Embracer Group paid for Bloxburg, $129,250,107 and also 49 cents. And well, oddly enough, that's a great segue into the other thing I want to talk about here. And that's basically that this is the future of Roblox. The fact is Roblox has gotten so big and so many of these games are making millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. And all these big game companies, all these big game studios, they see that. They're like, oh, wow, look at look at all that money over there. And so here they come. They're, they're marching on over here they're going to start buying up all these games. I'm sure Bloxburg isn't going to be the last one. It's the first one. Definitely not going to be the last one. A lot of these big games on Roblox are probably going to get bought out within the next few years. All these big game studios are going to come in and I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or not, but that's what's going to happen. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if games like Pet Slimmer X didn't get bought out at some point. That game makes a lot of money. But yes, we have officially entered the era where Roblox is mainstream and these games and developers are a very big deal. Let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below. Have a nice day.